Hello there and welcome. What you're going to be watching is a rant about Company of Heroes 2 and DLC. I'm somebody that's defended Company of Heroes 2 quite a lot in the past, mostly because I've got an invested interest in playing it because I've I've done YouTube videos, I help run the Reddit um, related to this game, and it seems to me sometimes like a hobby as well as just a game, so in the past I've really defended it and uh, I've used this quote quite a lot, this quote here, let's have a look. This is from the Soul Community Manager at the time, early, late last year, when the Steam DLC information was first released for the for the collector's edition. Um, guys, relax. KOTU is not pay to win. Take a look at what's being offered with the pre-order. Tank skins. Skins! They will not affect the game in any way, shape or form. Don't want to buy them? Don't. Problem solved. Now, when I got this game at midnight last night, I first thing I did is I wanted to see if there were more commanders. I went to an army customizer, commanders, and to my delight, I saw that there were more. I started clicking on them, and I was a little bit disappointed because they are basically entirely reconfigurations of what the other commanders did. So in beta, you had from guards motor coordination up to NKVD rifles. Now we've got four more anti-infantry, conscript support, terror tactics, and armored assault tactics. I have the collector's edition, um, so that's why I assumed, you know, uh, maybe some some of the guys wouldn't have these at the same time. Maybe they'd have to work to get them in terms of leveling up and what have you. But apparently that's not the case. What it is is that these are for pre-ordering the game. And um, if you didn't pre-order the game, you then have to buy the extra content. So let me get this straight. So about two thirds of people will have the game, you know, pre-ordered. That's great. But then a large portion of the people won't have the same multiplayer tools available to them at release unless they click open store and buy each of the commanders at a, you know quite a significant two pound cost the game costs 40 pounds so that's you know in total 20 eight, eight out of 40 20 percent of the entire retail price so let me get this straight in multiplayer, in order to use all the doctrines available to you, and some pretty powerful ones, such as I think Conscript Support Tactics is very powerful, it's got Hit the Dirt, it's got um, Conscript Assault Package, which is the PPSHs, Conscript Repair Kit, which means you can replay, pay your T-34s on the fly without having to get the combat engineers to come to them, um, Rapid Conscription, which is Allied War Machine, and Incendiary Artillery, which is very good for taking out packs and uh, other support weapons. Very, very powerful. In order to get that, if you haven't pre-ordered the game, you do need to buy it. So what Relica are then asking you to do, and this isn't Sega because Relic have had uh, had this kind of thing since THQ times, basically you have to pay extra in order to unlock the multiplayer tools available to you. And if you win using Conscript Support Tactics and you've paid for it, that by definition is pay to win. Um, it's a certain set of tools, IP, may I add, that you've already paid for. I mean, look at all this. All the components of the different doctrines are fully available already in the uh, in the doctrines already available to us in beta. They've just shifted them around. There's no u new units, no u new abilities, and they are now charging for them. If you pre-ordered the game or you have a collector's edition, you do already have them. Great. Um, that's that you've invested in Relic. Um, I'd, I'd imagine that skins would be more than enough for that. I have a lot of skins because I did get the Collector's Edition um, all the way back when it first came out because I had a lot of faith in this game and I still do. I think it will be a very good game. However, I do think that they have crossed the line from, oh yeah, a little bit of DLC that you have to pay for to this is pay to win because it affects multiplayer directly. Um, there's no debate about that. They've separated it um, pools of people uh, one significant pool of people, people that buy it after the release, have to then pay extra money in order to unlock the full set, the tool set available to them in multiplayer. 20% um, extra of the retail price, and this is a full priced game, it's not a uh, reduced price like £30 game in English currency. This is a full, fully fledged, you know, you're paying for seven years of development time kind of give us all your money game, and then they're charging for IP you've already p uh, paid rights to use. Because that's what computer gaming is nowadays. You pay right to use it, and they're using that data, reconfigurating it, and selling it to you at extra cost. There's no extra 
uh, time and effort by any of the Relic devs other than perhaps looking at the balance of things. This, All of these um, commanders are just reconfigurations. I think it's not a good sign. Uh, if this deters you from buying the game, that's probably a good thing, because that's how capitalism works. I personally think it'll be a very good game. Um, it'll probably have quite at least two years of solid multiplayer community support. You know, you should prob probably buy it, but just keep in mind that it looks like they are going to be quite underhanded with the DLC. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.